I was second generation college educated, you know, and, and became a millionaire by, by the time I was 30. And a lot of people would call themselves self-made. And I used to for, for a long time, um, but I don't anymore because I do realize that I had advantages and opportunities that other people did not. Um, I had a mom who, who, who loved her children, who loved, she still loves her children. Um, I had a mom who, even though we lived in the hood, she would pack my sister and I in the car and drive us about 30 minutes outside of the city to one of the most affluent neighborhoods um, in, in the country. Philly is like, Philly has extreme poverty on one end. And then we have one of the most affluent suburbs uh, in, in the country, the main line. And my mom would pack us in the car and take us out to Gladwin on weekends and say like, this is how y'all are gonna live. Like, let's drive through the, the mansions of Gladwin, the mansions of Villanova, so th that we could see in person, not just on TV, um, how the extremely affluent lived. And that was important to her. She, she, took us, she took us places. We went to, you know, I mean, we weren't going like international, but we went to Florida as kids. I mean, we got to experience um, things that I think that a lot of people who come from the hood didn't. So I don't take that for granted. Um, but that was, that was us as, as kids. My mom was a uh, first generation college educated. She was, uh, she became an, R, an RN. I mean, having kids as a teen mom pushed her to want more for her life. Um, and one of the, one of the reasons I believe that I am like I am, um, and want to give back is because when my mom realized that she wanted more for her life, I mean, you know, this was back in the seventies, eighties, the crack up the epidemic was hitting hard in Philly, just like it did in New York. Mm -hmm. um, my mom went back and pulled a lot of her friends like out of crack houses. Like y'all gonna stay with us until you can get yourselves together. So it wasn't, it wasn't uncommon for me as a kid, you know, my sister and I as, as kids to like come downstairs one morning and it's like nine people in our, in our kitchen. And we had a small house, but you know, mom was gonna make sure that her friends were okay. Her community, you know, was okay. Our aunties that, that she grew up with were, were okay. So, um, so I had a, I mean, I had a great childhood, a lot of love, a lot of laughter, um, but still much very, very hood. You know, it's two parts of what you just said that stakes, that really sticks out for me. Um, one is your mom had a first child at 16 years old, second child, which is yourself at 19. Yep. If you are watching this, if you are listening to this in podcast form, stay with me for a second. You are greater than what some would consider to be your biggest mistake at the time. Sure. Having a child at 16 years old, still being in high school, do you know how many women are told it's over? Don't do this, your life is over? And then to have a second child before the age of 20. Yep. I don't know what her support system was, but I do understand the magnitude of responsibility that yes. comes with having two children. At that point, I'm assuming she's out of wedlock, don't know what the support system looks like, but still picks herself up and goes off and gets a college education and becomes an RN. I love that yes. because you can bounce back. You yes. don't have to just accept your circumstances as they are. And even when things look like all of the chips are stacked against me, it's a choice. She yeah. made a choice to continue to, to grow despite what others might have said, and I'm sure it wasn't her thoughts, but others might have said having a child this early is a mistake. So that really sticks out to me. And then second, which I love, your mother had the foresight. Although she could not afford to live in these affluent neighborhoods, she took her children and drove through. And now it's not just talking. I want you guys to see. I want you to visualize. I want you to smell the air. See yeah. yourselves living here because it's possible. She didn't just keep you in the projects and talk to you about there's a better life out there somewhere. I love that she took that extra step to show you guys. And obviously, you're living proof of it. So please, no matter what your circumstances are, financially or otherwise, go and put yourself in the position that you ultimately want to be in. It, 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 it does wonders for you. 
You know, Sean, it's, I'm so glad you said that. Um, and, and, and clearly we know that's not the ideal circumstance. It's not ideal to be a mom of two before you're 20, right? It's not ideal. Um, but at the same time, and I was talking to someone on Twitter and, and she was kind of like barking at me about the perspective of the, of the kid that I was, who, you know, I was a kid of a, of, a, of a teen mom. I mean, my mom and I, my mom, my sister and I had the same kindergarten teacher. Like, you know, we're, we're, we're that close in, in age, right? So what I said to her was, you know, even though it's not ideal, don't get me wrong, as a kid of a teen mom, my mom had the energy of like 10 moms. You know what I mean? When, when, I was, when I was ripping and running the streets at eight, you know, she, was, she wasn't even 30 yet. She could run faster than I could. That's right. You know, she, had, she, had, like, she had all the smoke and energy of like, you know, I would be like out doing something I had no business doing. She could come work a 12 hour, 14 hour shift as an RN and come home and still drag me, still make sure that my schoolwork was not same. Like, so, she, so again, while it's not the ideal circumstance, there are, there are absolutely advantages. My mom had my brother much later in life. She had my brother at 36. Um, and this, the, the energy that she had for my sister and I, like, you know, where she, you know, we, we could get all the smoke and, and like, you know, she was, she was a totally different mom by the time she was 36 and had, and had my brother. You know, she didn't have, thankfully she had us who could also be on him. Um, but you know, there, there are certainly advantages of, of, of being young and energetic, use that young energy, um, and invest it into yourself and your children. Absolutely. What's up guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, Feel free to share. Peace and love.